If you had to choose between three different types of machine guns to use, what would you pick? Would you pick a basic machine gun that is light and quick to deploy? Would you pick a heavy machine gun that is slow to fire but does a huge amount of damage? Or would you pick a machine gun that covers both and does a good job of being flexible while out on the field? Whatever you pick, Hell Divers will have you covered and in today's video, we'll be answering the age old question of which one's better? Machine gun? Star Wars? Or heavy machine gun? Let's get started. The machine gun is the very first strategy you unlock after doing the main tutorial and even into the higher difficulties, it still plays a huge role depending on where and where it is applied, while keeping the spare two more for reserves. It has a 4.5 second reload time and has three RPM types you can switch to, which are 630, 760 and 900. It has good armor penetration against small and medium armor and its damage is viable enough to be taken into tier 7 to 8 difficulty if the user chooses to do so. Along with its good ammo pack size and relatively quick below speed, the following is the best if you require a much instant machine gun on a moment's notice and should always have ammo pack to help to keep the flow of the weapon going. Now the Star Wars is like the bigger version of the machine gun, but packs a whole lot more bang for your buck. It has a whopping 250 base magazine which gives you an extra 3 in reserves. This overall will provide you 1000 rounds which is a much higher ratio than the standard machine gun and heavy machine gun in total. It has a 4.5 second reload time which is the same as machine gun but it allows the user to reload while walking, a pro when compared to the other two. It comes with 3 RPM types of 700, 850 and 1150 RPM. The following weapon is considered the best at what the other two machine guns do. It has a much wider ammo reserve which means you won't need to worry so much about calling resupplies down. Its damage is on par with machine gun although it lacks medium armor penetration and it has great mobility and allows us to reload while moving. So you don't need to feel in danger or run off to do a safety reload somewhere and overall it doesn't cost too lot to get or use. For me, I can see this being the more common weapon players would use if they need to capture key objectives but also need to deal with waves upon waves of enemies all at once. Having this with the Eruptor, a energy shield for example, and impact grenade is the loadout I would run the most for a tier 7 to 9 difficulty as it covers the main things I would need to survive, it has flexibility of dealing with chargers or brute commanders quite easily and it still leaves me room to have two more stratagem spots left for dealing with the more bigger threats such as tanks or bio titans. Using the Star Wars, it feels more like a primary weapon than a support weapon, so keep in mind the flexibility you have here for it. Now lastly, the heavy machine gun is a newly added stratagem that hasn't received a lot of praise for it in game. You can unlock this at an easy level 12 and it costs 6000 requisition slots. It has a base magazine size of 75 rounds while keeping two reserves. This comes to a total of 225 rounds which is lower than the machine gun and extremely lower than the Star Wars. It has a slow reload time of 6 seconds and comes with 3 RPMs which are 450, 750 and 1200 RPM. I covered this weapon in my previous post which I recommend you check out but simply the weapon has a much higher damage threshold when compared to the machine gun in Star Wars. It is capable of taking on the medium armor units quite easily and even against a charge for example, if you aim for its weak point it could do fairly well with down one within one magazine. However, this is only if you land all your shots and not miss. These are the only pros I can think of for the weapon, as if it had a bigger magazine size of 100 or even a faster reload speed compared to the other two, then I could see the community embracing it well. Its slow reload speed makes it too situational to be used in the higher difficulties unless you want to be easily overwhelmed. Combine that with its high recoil pattern which requires users to crouch or go prone to control it, and then further combine that with a small magazine size, and you get a weapon that can hardly be used for providing supportive fire. The only way I can see the weapon becoming viable is if the user has an ammo pack and an armor set that has the fortified armor passive applied. This will at least give the weapon a longer time frame to be used more often, but considering the other two don't require this in depth thought to support them, you have to ask yourself, is there any point of using the weapon at all? Well, that's solely down to the player to decide. 
So out of the three, which one is the best? Machine gun, Star Wars, or heavy machine gun? The answer is the Star Wars by a long mile because of the wide number of benefits it provides. It has a bigger magazine and reserves for long fights. It has good armor penetration for your offers. You can reload while walking so you don't need to slow down. And overall its impact for an entire mission is much more noticeable when compared to the other two. Don't get me wrong with machine gun and heavy machine gun though, as they do have a place in society, especially with heavy machine gun offering more power with its hits. It's just that the Star Wars when used on difficulty 1 to 9 will last much more longer and provide more support than the other machine guns in game. At the same time, it also allows easy access of customizing our weapons for more specific scenarios such as having the Eropter on hand for closing bug holes or dealing with berserkers in one go, etc. It's truly hard to underestimate what the given strategy can do for players. And while Heavy Machine Gun does need a significant buff to make it more applicable to players, the machine gun is quite honestly just needs a standard reduced cooldown similar to the EAT. Or better off, allow us to use it like an in place turret with faster reload and can be taken up wherever we go. The small things like this will make it more intriguing to players to use. But for now, I would highly, 100%, recommend Star Wars as the go to weapon for fellow Helldivers. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while here. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.